guys, welcome back to my channel. Actually, let me set this camera. So this is like the next day after I washed my hair. I'm going to do my vlogs today, and my younger sister is assisting me, but her time has not yet come. So you know, I did some research about dyeing locks and all. Another one of the first things I have to do is first you need to wear a shirt that you don't mind. Stage two: section your locks. It's part of the process because it'd be too boring watching me section my locks. So yeah. So I'm using like a bow that I know that will definitely be thrown away after. And this is the size of dye. Oh guys. <laughs> so excited for this one. And um, I'm just going to pour in the developer. <laughs> Shit, this thing is getting me. So this is the dye and the developer. So you're just gonna mix it, you know, like a food, like you wanna drink papa milk. And that's what I'm doing. No, I feel like this developer is too small. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I like the blue is too small. And I don't even have like a deep. So, this is like all I'm using for my locks, to be honest. I don't know if it's going to be enough. You know. And I'm going to have to like oil my scalp. So, I saw on the net. So, we're just going to use coconut oil and you know, all the edges and the scalp area. Our dad is ready, baby. Ready. Okay. This is the consistency. So I'm using a mic right now. I hope my boys don't come out rot. So basically, I was just instructing now on how to, you know, dye the locks, dye the length, not the roots. And I gave her the gloves. It came with, you know, the dye. Basically, my dye didn't come in any form of pack or anything. It was just, you know, tied in transparent nylon for me to take home. And yeah, I just kept on mixing. She kept on wearing the gloves. Yeah, voice over because as you can see, I'm dancing, meaning we were playing music and I'm avoiding copyright issues. Okay, so this is the dying proper. So you guys should just mind my voice because I have cough and all that. And you're going to see a lot of transitions in this video because it was just too long 28 minutes. And <laughs> what are we doing? Come on. So here I'm just showing you guys a chemical reaction I got from the developer. So basically, while I was mixing it up, the developer touched my hand. And I was applying coconut oil, you know, to try to curb the effect because it was actually very tingling and sticky. And I'm just showing you guys. I don't know if you could really see on my right thumb. It's not as visible on camera, but it was really, really serious, actually. And I decided to tie nylons on my hands because, because I can't count, okay? Like, local women don't want issues. Mind you, anytime you see my mouth moving in this video, just when I'm probably giving her one instruction or the other, dye this way, don't do this way, apply here, do this, do that. And this is our like different up close angles of the hair. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I'm making use of crazy blue dye, that's the color she called it. So, yeah, just kept on dying and dying and dying, like D Y E I N G and spread it up really fast because come on come on we need to save time okay and yeah that's what was going on and sectioning my locks and here i'm just giving you guys like a 360 of how it looked after we had already dyed it and next thing i had to put on nylons to you know z heat it up i made use of double nylons because i felt it was going to give him more heat and i just kept it and waited for you know a few moments later 41 minutes okay so she told me i'm supposed to leave it the lady i was going to tell me i'm supposed to leave it on for 20 minutes for it's you know necessarily if your hair is locked you should leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes extra so i just left it for 20 minutes extra and you know I'm gonna wash it up. I want to show you guys how it looks after I take it out of the wrap because you followed me when I was dying it. So, okay. Oh my body. Oh my body. Holy hell. Oh my body. I've died. I don't know. Oh my body is blue. <laughs> it's not dead. So, updates for my thumbs and my hands. It's actually reducing. I applied chair butter. So. Just in case it happens to you, you can try it out. So I'm going to wash my locks and I'll see you guys. It's 360 for you after I took my locks out of the nylons. And yeah, I said shea butter because I reapplied shea butter on my hands and it worked really well. So, I'm not sure you can see it, but my trouser that I do not plan on getting to stay got blue on it. 
So when you're dressing to dry your locks on your hair, just also wear something you really don't wear at the lower area. And for hope this one goes because I really like the truck as well. It's fine. Let's just go wash it in. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I always have something for you. You get, you know, matter what you like. So yeah, I'm just rinsing out my locks with regular water, and after that, I went on to shampoo my locks. I made use of I don't even know the name, but I made use of a dandruff shampoo. Yeah, Venus dandruff shampoo, as you can see, and just washed the length because the roots of my locks are actually not dirty and I did not dye the roots and yeah this is how they look the first time and I will show you guys the floor can you see up in my bathroom is like I was really shocked I was really shocked like see the how <sighs> I decided to go ahead and you know have a second wash nothing thorough just you know wash rinse and I wanted to show you guys how it looked <laughs> But I decided to leave it for outside the bathroom. A few moments later. Hey guys, so I am done washing my hair and I, you know, let's see how it turned out. Um, update on my um blister or chemical bond or whatnot. It's really tiny now. Yeah, just small. That I'm signing it. I get far enough. Well, we can. So, it seems to be off. Yeah. Can we see this? Let's just moisturize. I have a. So, I'm giving my coconut oil. Yeah, my coconut oil, though. I'm out of castor oil. I'm doing on buying the bowl. I ended up trying out another brand and then for you and coconut oil. I'm just like a big fan of coconut oil. Like I don't think I can ever stop it. Like even if I'm trying a new oil, I will always take this coconut oil. I don't think I can do without it. Time for a nice massage. I'm definitely in need of a rich list. I'm gonna like tomorrow. Because today it's already gone. I have a lot of things to do. So, I'm the land forever. But I think I've said this thing before people don't apply like coconut oil on their locks. I apply on my locks because I've said this thing time and time again, but I'm saying it again. I live in Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria. Um, oh, when it's hot, I'll be around when it's hot. I don't know how to say to you, but everywhere it is hot. Always hot in this country, so the chances of having um, coconut oil sticking up in my locks to come build up is very slim. And it's not like I rub like heavy, it's just like moderate. So, like during Ramadan, that's like kind of the cold season, kind of just reduce it a bit. But I like the way it came out, to be honest. It's like dark blue, it's really not that noticeable. You know, if you look well, I really don't get like giving me like all the brands I like. It's like, I just kept giving different views, you know, on how it looks like different angles rather i inserted pictures just so you see them and a little crazy dance so just have fun here with me this video is going to end weirdly it's not really going to have any outro or anything so just bear with me the same day pictures looked quite dark i think it was because it was under the sun i don't really know so yeah totally unrelated but i know i have been inconsistent and the thing is i have school i just finished an online program i'm in physical school and i'm not really a great multitasker but i'm really going to work in it so please bear with me till i come your way next time bye